Hello there, and welcome to another episode of the Dulce America Video Podcast. My name is Bing Futch. This is episode number 10. And, you know, I thought it was spring, and I don't get this weather. It's very strange. <laughs> anyway, this episode will feature a demonstration of the tune Sunday Morning, which is uh, part of the album Dulce America Volume 1. Many of you have requested to see this song and how it's played, because it's got so much rhythm going on. So, your wish is my command. Uh, the sheet music for this tune will be available in the uh, All Over the Map songbook that's being published in about a month or so. But I know it always helps to see what's going on so that you can figure out uh, fingerings and chord positions and stuff like that. And especially with this tune, uh, strum techniques, because it is a highly rhythmic song that requires some stops and starts and a lot of chug is what we like to call it. So the one thing I'll mention here is uh, something that I do throughout the song is I don't play a note for its entire value. I cut it short to create nice staccato phrasing. So the way I do that is uh, by taking my fretting hand, the left hand, and removing it from the strings a little bit uh, to get the strings to stop vibrating and sounding, for example, like this. I don't take them all the way off the strings, but I just kind of lift them up, so it's like a damper of sorts, but instead of putting my hand on the strings to silence them, I'm lifting them up to the point where the strings raise up from the fretboard and stop making the noise. Without any further ado, here is the tune, Sunday Morning. Chug. <laughs>
Sunday morning fills my cup with light. Tea and kisses after Saturday night. That is Sunday morning from the album uh, Dulce America Volume 1. Soon to be a part of the songbook called All Over the Map. That is an original tune. Now as you can see when playing it, it requires a sort of uh, perpetual motion. It's just, it's a chugging song, man. So a lot of the song has this uh, rhythm going So sometimes, even when you're not actually playing that rhythm hard, as in the big verse part and then the chorus part, it's still there underneath what you're playing. So a couple of times you'll notice in between big set pieces that um, I let the dulcimer ring out, but I'm still sort of keeping that rhythm ever so quietly and dynamically over here. So like in between, for example, uh, So there's a little kind of a to, to simplify things really. It's kind of like an eighth note pulse that really stays behind the song even during the quiet parts. So if you keep in mind that eighth note pulse and rhythm in the back of your head, when you get to a quiet point, you can still keep it quiet, but almost you can almost still sense the movement going on behind the song. That's what really keeps this song chugging along, as they say. The part that a lot of people wonder about is the C part, which is this kind of little rock and roll thing that comes in. So what you're doing there is uh, you're sliding up. Of course we're in DAA, so you're sliding up from this, uh, this G chord up to the A chord. So you're only on that G chord for a brilliant little moment before you slide right up. And something you'll see that I do a lot when I'm playing is uh, I'll, I'll put little percussive strums and beats in there. I'm not actually playing a note, but I'm playing a rhythm also to fill that dynamic space. So slowly I'm going. Thank you very much for tuning in again. It is a very much uh, an honor and a pleasure to see the subscriber numbers rise up and the number of people who have downloaded these videos. It's just, it's a beautiful thing. I think if everybody in the world had a dulcimer, there'd be a lot less badness going on on this planet. So thank you once again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Until then, mahalo, nui loa.